You cannot tell me that because a student is sitting in your ensemble playing the saxophone, reading music, that that student is engaged. We do far too much telling students what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. And that has been uh, the model of band, particularly, but also orchestra and choir to a certain extent, education, certainly in Canada and this country for far too long. It's very top down. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really cliche right now to talk about flipping the classroom and student engagement and chamber ensembles and all that sort of stuff. But when music advocacy people say, oh, a band is different, or what we do in music classroom is different, and when in fact it isn't, we are shooting ourselves in the foot as, music edu as, a, as an organization of music educators that want music to survive. So I think we have to have some very serious, and we are having some very serious conversations about band large ensembles and how we teach music education in this country so that it does survive. We have to be careful what we advocate for and we have to be careful what we say and to whom because it's not working. Music programs are dying all over this country and if we have been doing it right for a hundred years, if we have been putting amazing repertoire in front of students for a hundred years, where are they at our concerts? Where are those kids that went through amazing band programs? I'm not saying they didn't had a horrible time, but why aren't they in love with band music? Why, why aren't we hearing more band music on the radio?